Ooh, yeah. Let's get a little sip of something chilly, eh? Yeah. What's up, guys? Chunky C here. Uh, having a little cold night here in North Carolina. This is take two of this. I uh, filmed this earlier today, and I tried to put it all on one video. It's just too much information. I messed it up, and I had to wait till it got dark because the bright window back here was really just blowing out my video and making it look like crap. It probably still does look like crap, but. Uh, what I want to talk to you tonight about is I have a little software that I want to share with you that I downloaded years ago. I've been using it for a lot of stuff, uh, but I use it to properly resize my little thumbnail, my little model images on my Fataba and my TX16S and my FR Sky X20S that runs on Ethos. So. Let me dive into this here real quick. Um, I'm going to get you here on the screen. I don't want to show you what we got. I'm going to open up this browser right here. So first thing I want to go over is Fataba on their T18MZ. Um, some of their, whenever I first got the transmitter, I took a picture with the, the camera. Some of you may know it's kind of like the, the Spectrum iX20. It's got a, a built-in camera on it, and you can take pictures of your own model and everything. And that would be great if the camera wasn't crap. Um, I mean, really, it's the, the megapixel count is low, and I think you know your grandmother's jitterbug camera phone from 1997 probably had a better camera on it. But... Um, I took a picture of my model and, you know, I, I put it as my thumbnail and it just, it just didn't look good at all. So, uh, I started looking into it. I took the SD card out and I looked at the pictures and I looked at the size of them and the size that they advertise online is a whole lot different than the size that what the actual camera is taking. So let me, uh, let me see if we can find this here. So we're going to go down to the 18 MZ. And uh, let's see here, camera function, right here, picture size, right there, 158 by 80 pixels. That couldn't be farther off if I had done it. Um, the Fataba, whenever you resize them, let me look at my notes here, it's uh, 640 by 480. Um, and I'm going to show you the... The software that I use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google, and uh, for some reason my computer is absolutely creeping tonight. You're going to search paint.net, and it's going to bring up this website for a free program. It's kind of like Paint on your, you know, Paint for Windows, but it works on the layers kind of like Adobe Photoshop. So if you're familiar with Adobe Photoshop and you took, you're familiar with paint on windows and you took the two and blended them together, that's, that's pretty much what you get with paint.net. It's a really good program. I've made a ton of stuff. I've done back, you know, background wallpapers for my PCs, my cell phones, and, uh, you know, I resized my, my, uh, my little pictures for my airplanes with it. So go ahead and download that. Unfortunately, they don't have one. Uh, they don't have a paint.net uh, program for Mac. It's only for Windows. So if you have Mac, you'll probably have to find something else that works. There's probably already a, a software. I think Mac, Mac already has a nice uh, video editing software that'll probably work for that. Um, something else I wanted to show you also besides besides this right here. Um, there's also a 
website called Sky Raccoon, and I'll cover this more in the other videos when I'm talking more with about the FR Sky and um, like uh, TX16S, uh, Ethos, uh, Edge TX, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> this Sky Raccoon website, uh, they have pretty much pre made little icons and thumbnails model pictures uh, for your model so you can search whatever model you want so let's say commander we'll see what comes up with that. the e-flight commander um, they have thousands and thousands of, uh, of, of photos and everything in here so so here's a here's one that's red so we'll go to icons you can see they have uh, their icons already pulled up and if you'll notice right here I don't know if you can see it right there it's uh, 300 by 280 so it's already it's already sized for you and I'll go into that I'm gonna do other videos I'm gonna do a, a separate video for the TX 16s and I'm gonna do a separate video um, for my X 20s uh, running ethos uh, but I wanted to, you know, share this with you. If you guys have other radios, you can uh, you can go in here and see they have Edge TX and Open TX right here that has the proper the proper uh, size uh, thumbnails. So, but once you've downloaded that and you've downloaded Paint.net, um, what you'll want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and close all that out. You will open up Paint.net. And um, basically, you're going to take the picture of your aircraft, whether it's with your cell phone. Uh, I mean, personally, I like finding one online that, you know, I just like the way it looks. Uh, if it's a kind of a, a person, you know, if it's a balsa plane that you've built, you've covered it yourself, it's a one of a kind, you're not going to find anything on the Internet, then take it outside, set it up nice, take your cell phone, take a picture of it, and then uh, however you need to get that cell phone picture to your PC, you could even email it to yourself. Uh, some cell phones, my Samsung, I have a, a little app that you can download from um, Microsoft uh, Store. It's free, it's easy, and you just put it on your computer and it'll read all your media off of your phone and download it to your to your PC. So we're going to open up a new file here. Um, I'm just going to pick something. I'm going to go and let's just go into um, RC clip art here. Let's say I take this logo right here. Let's say I've downloaded this. Let's say this was a picture of an airplane that I wanted to do. <clears throat> so you've you've opened up your your photo of your airplane you want to do. So you're going to go up here. Go up top right up here and you're going to click on image and you're going to go to resize all right so um whenever you see this maintain aspect ratio right here you want to leave that unchecked um and i'll show you why if you check it let's say for my fataba we got to do 640 by 480 so we're going to take this out 640 and 480. Now you see when I change 480 on the bottom, it automatically changed the width to 853. That's because it's correcting for the, the aspect ratio. So if you'll uncheck that, type in 640. Click OK and then it'll resize it down. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to save this um, file as a JPEG or a PNG. I believe Fataba you can do either one. I'm going to save it here as a JPEG. So I'm going to pick something easy to name it. Futaba. And we're going to save it to desktop so it'll be easy to find. All right. So, with that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on my SD card now. I've already taken my SD card out of my Fataba and I've put it in a card reader over here. And I'm going to show you what you're going to wind up with here. So, we have that done there. 
right here. Whenever you plug in your SD card, you're going to probably see this pop up. It's got a couple of couple of folders on it. Um, Wave. This is where I go to put my all of my uh, sound files uh, for the radio. But if you go to BMP, which stands for bitmaps, this is where you put all your pictures. Let me expand this up. This is where you put all your pictures um, for your planes. You can see I got some for the Bighorn. Uh, I got an Edstra, EF Extra. Um, the, uh, I've already put the Fataba in there, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I do it again anyway. Um, <clears throat> this is where you put everything all your pictures uh, that you find off the internet or the ones that you take off your cell phone, this is what you do. So I've already saved the Fataba. It's on the desktop. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hold and I'm going to drag it over and drop it into this file right here, into this folder. So it's in there. So that part is done. It's as easy as that. So now what I would recommend you do, I don't know if, if anybody really does this. I do. It's a safe way to do it. If you right click, over here in your little menu bar down here and you click on your USB safely remove hardware and eject media if you click on that you'll see eject whatever your SD card name is some may just be uh, SD card or you know like slot G or um, something like that I actually named mine because I had a lot of them plugged in earlier and I couldn't tell what was what so I went through and actually named them but I would recommend that you eject the card before you pull it out because if you don't you take a chance on the files getting corrupted and if they get corrupted then you're going to spend a lot of time trying to go through and put the files back on it and find all the sound files that you had before ask me how i know it's miserable i've had to do it and it kind of sucks so with that being said, I'm going to pause this video right here. I'm going to put this SD card back into the Fataba, and I'm going to try to get an angle on it, come back, and show you what it looks like to set it up. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I got a new, uh, new model set up here just so that we can take a look at it together, and I'll show you how to set it up. Now, I've got it on the SD card now, so what you'll do is you go in the linkage menu, go over to picture hit thumbnail and you'll select there's a little box there's a little radio and there's a little SD drive it looks like a little hard drive right there if you select the hard drive and scroll down you'll see my picture if I can get it to come up here you see my little icon that I that I resized there if you hit the little radio up here and it doesn't show up in this list, you'll have to go to the hard drive over here, scroll down, find it, and when you hit it, you'll have to actually copy it to the T18MZ. Once you copy it to T18MZ, it'll, it'll be in the radio uh, memory and it'll be right there. So you select that, okay, um, hit entry. Are you sure? Yes. Let's see if that got it. And it should be in there by now. Yep, there you go. You have your, your little icon right there. Whatever plane you, uh, your plane, whatever picture you took of it, if it's one you took or, uh, you know, one that you found off the internet. But I just wanted to do that little quick video for you guys. And, uh, well, it was quick for you guys but not for me because this is the second time today I've had to do this video getting ready to do some more um, but uh, if you like the guys just give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe to the the channel and um, until the next time I hope this helps out but until next time peace